Hi everybody, this is Wendy Chisholm and this is a tutorial on Microsoft Excel. As you can tell, I've logged in to my Barso College account. I've opened up Microsoft Office. So let's get started. So when I click on Excel, new tab opens up and this is what Excel looks like. Across the top here are letters. These are our, our columns. This is the H column, the D column. This is row four, row nine. And this little square that you see here is a cell. I can type in their words. I can type in numbers. I can put any value I want into any cell. By clicking enter, it'll keep that. And now I just have cell. But I'd like to point out this formula bar up here. You can see as I type in, it actually shows in the format bar the second stage of a cell. A cell has two parts. It has the data and or a function. So if I put the value 9 here and the value 3 here, and I wanted to add them together, that would be 9 plus 3. But that didn't work. How do we do that? Well, in Excel, and just about any um, digital spreadsheet program, it's the equal sign. When you hit the equal sign, it starts out a function, and you can either type it straight into the formula bar, or you can type it straight into the cell, but you do have to hit the equal sign. So I'm going to say 9 plus 3. Enter. Watch it change. Did you see it? It went from up here in the formula bar, 9 plus 3, to its actual value. It'll change to 12. 9 plus 3 is 12, correct? Again, click, see the formula, escape, value, <clears throat> highlight, delete. Everything just goes away from your cells. Okay, this concludes uh, how to open up the template how to uh, open up a file, and as well as pointing out our columns, our rows, and what a cell and what a function is. Please refer to my other tutorials for Excel on how to add in graphs, charts, and other functions and formulas. Thank you and have a great day. This is Wendy Chisholm, signing out.